This hasn't always been a partisan thing. My favorite president was a guy named Abe Lincoln. He helped found the Republican Party. It used to be that there were GOP members who championed progress and civil rights and rule of law, even when some Democrats, especially down here in the South, did not. That's part of our history. So it has not always been one party or another. But these days, right now, just about every Republican politician seems obsessed with two things, owning the libs and, and getting Donald Trump's approval. What did I say about Boone? Oh. But, but, but that's their agenda. It's not long. It's not complicated. And at least to me, it's not very inspiring. They're not interested in actually solving problems. They're interested in making you angry and finding somebody to blame. Because that way, you may not notice that they've got no answers of their own. I mean, I can tell you what Stacey Abrams is, is, is obsessed with. As a small business owner and the daughter of two ministers, she's focused on making sure every Georgian has an opportunity to get ahead. That's why she wants to invest Georgia's surplus in the fundamentals, good schools, a higher standard of living, more affordable health care and housing. That's her agenda. I can tell you what Raphael Warnock cares about. As your senator, he hasn't been off chasing wacky conspiracy theories. He hasn't been drumming up fear and division. He's been working to lower prescription drug costs and boost manufacturing jobs and expand health care for veterans who got sick fighting for the United States of America. That's who Reverend Warnock is. That's his agenda. That's who Stacey Abrams is. That's her agenda. They are both hardworking, God-fearing, community-serving people who tell the truth, stick to their word, treat everybody with decency and respect. Those are the values they bring to bear. 